Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be the second video on iOS interview series. So without any further ado, let's get started. So guys, let's take the second question of the series, which is what is any versus any object? So let's see that. So here we see that any can represent an instance of any type at all, including function types and optional types, whereas any object can represent an instance of any class type that is basically reference types. So why do we use any and any object? Let me tell you that any and any object are data types which we assign to an object when we don't know about the desired data type of that particular object. Suppose we have an array and we are going to append some uh, you know elements in that and we don't know about the data type of those elements then we assign that object's data type to be any or any object. But we need to be careful about one thing. So let's see that what is it. So guys, let's jump right into our Xcode playground to see what I mean when I say any objects can be used with reference types only and any can be used with any type. So let's see that. Now we have created this new object called array. And in prior, we don't know the data type of this object called array. So we have given this any data type. And we have given this three elements. The first one is a string. The second one is an integer and the third one is a boolean and it, it is working perfectly fine with this case because when we try to print this array it gives us this result all right now we try to give this data type uh, any object to a new object called uh, new array so let's see what will be the result yeah here you see that uh, i told you that any object can be suitable with reference types only not with all the types so here you see there is an error and the error is that value of type string does not confirm to expected element type any object. So let me tell you that string and integer both are struct types that is value types not reference types. So if we go with the definition the any object should not work with these value types. But if we, if we try to typecast this let me typecast the first one that is that was a string and the second one that is an integer let, let me also typecast this. Now you will see that it is working perfectly fine with this as well after typecasting. So what is the reason behind it? You know, after we typecast this string value and integer value into any object, this is basically typecasted into a objective C type of reference types that is NS string and NS number. These are no more string or integer, but class types of objective C that is NS string and NS number. So types that can be converted between objective c and swift are referred to as bridge types i hope you got this and if you have any doubt please write it in the comment section down below i'll surely reply to that so guys as a conclusion i would recommend you to be specific about the data type you are going to use for your new object so that's all for now see you in the next one bye bye jai hind